what we're doing now is an uh, inverted Thai massage uh, traction therapy. So have you done a Thai massage training, really? No? Training. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thai massages. Uh, right. So I did Thai massage training, which is really amazing. Um, and what we do here is uh, one of the things that we do in Thai massage training is that uh, we're pressing uh, down in between the muscles and the bone, the softer fascia tissue, usually while the person is laying down on the floor. But here we're going to do it while you're in the swing hanging upside down. So the first thing we do is we set the swing height for an inversion level, which uh, be between your navel and your knee, about the center point between your legs. So stand up to the swing and we see, is that high enough for you? Hmm? So, so let's see. What you don't want to do is uh, you sit, as you pull the swing towards you, that lifts it up higher. So the swing is here. And what I saw you do is you used this hand and then you crossed over with that hand. So I'm going to take the hand which is closer to the swing. And then I step up to the swing and take the thumb and push it down. And then I hold it there. So here's my navel, here's the knee, here's the center point, holding it, push down. So for me, that's perfect. Probably for you, it could be a bit lower. Okay. And then usually for um, inverted poses with the camera, you want to be facing the camera. But this is a demonstration for me showing how to push into your back. So you are going to sit into the swing facing the camera so that when you go inverted, your back will be facing the camera. So have a seat here. You're going to reach behind, grab the thumbs, and sit down. Right? And then I'm checking here the back edge of the swing wants to cover your sacrum. That's great. Okay, bring your arms around and grab by the shoulders. Good. And then you bring the knees up and then spread the knees open wide. Good. And then as you lean back, you're going to wrap the legs around behind. The knees come outside and wrap around. Good. Okay. And then you're just going to adjust your hands and arms as uh, you feel comfortable. So first you can just let them rest onto the floor. So what I'm going to do is, I t first I want to check the back edge of the swings covering the sacrum. It is, you know, we don't want it too high, we don't want it too low. Uh, I'm going to place my hands here below the shoulder blades. Technically, uh, from my perspective, it's above, but if she was standing upwards, we would say that's below. So below the shoulder blades here. Uh, with my uh, hands pointing outwards, about 45 degrees, as you see here, I'm on the knees, and then the bar, you know, here is in front of me. So I'm going to walk out here. So now I'm under the bar. I'm going to extend the arms and push out, and then I drop the chest down between my shoulders, so it feels really nice for me. I'm pushing her out, and then I'm holding her down to try to lengthen her spine. How does that feel for you? Next, I can try placing my thumbs here into the soft tissue between the bones and the muscle. Pushing and dragging down the traction. And then they release. Uh, I don't want to push too low or too high. I'm going to work like here, here, here. And then I would go back to here, here. I push and hold. The longer I hold, the deeper I'll penetrate, and the greater benefits we'll receive. But if I'm just kind of pushing like this, I'm just going to make my partner sick. Next thing we can do, um, because it's a bit hard to push with the thumbs, so I can actually push with the toes. So I have a good idea. I felt the spine now. I know where I can push. I'm going to place this towel here on the back. I'm going to push her out with one arm. I lay back and I place my toes 
on the sides. Not pressing into the spine, pressing just next to the vertebrae, between the muscles and the bones as I straighten the legs. And then I'm pointing with the toes here and I can sh alternate left and right. And then I can shift my feet down one centimeter. Again, push. And I could repeat that a few times, and then moving up and down the spine. One more thing I can do, so I'll fold my towel and have to make a nice cushion here. I'll place it here into the center of the back, and then I place my head into this towel. I start to walk out. And then I'll roll my head up and down, massaging the spine. How does that feel? But if I'm here, if she's just hanging under the bar and I'm massaging here, well, there's much greater benefits if I'm walking out and pushing her down. Same thing with the head here. If I'm just here pushing with my head, she's not feeling much. The further out I walk, the more pressure there will be. And then the deeper the massage, the greater traction, separation between the discs, relieving pressure off the nerves. Okay, so to come up, you're going to reach up. So you can bring your feet back together, bend the knees, you grab the swing here under, and then unwrap the legs, you're going to quickly jump down into child's pose. Nice. And then, what I can do, uh, I'm going to uh, spread my legs, standing about a, a 45 degree angle in relation to her. Her uh, arms are spread uh, above her head, and you can take like a wide knee child's pose. I'm going to place, uh, this is a traditional time massage technique um, that we can you know, modify for yoga. I'll place one hand on the lower left hip, and then my right hand on the upper uh, right shoulder. Uh, I'm going to be pressing down and then stretching apart. Inhale and exhale. And push down and stretch apart. Inhale, and I switch sides. Exhale. Inhale. As she inhales, I can see the, the, the back lifting as the lungs fill with air. And then as she exhales, I see the body lowering. Okay. And then you can come up to the hands and knees, and you do some cat and cow stretches. Because we were just doing an intensive uh, back work. I want to make sure we do an adequate counter pose, to forward bending as we did with the child's pose, uh, and then reactivating the spine, cat and cow. It's a uh, perfect, a, a safe way to you know, gently restore. Okay, wonderful.